Hello friends, today I am going to attempt to make, no I will, I am going to make a bench from a headboard and a footboard of an old bed. Um, I know you've seen these on Pinterest and YouTube and all the cute little blogs. Um, I've seen them too. And when I found this bed on Facebook Marketplace, I thought, this looks like this is going to be the perfect opportunity to try the bed to bench transformation. Um, it's a full size bed. Um, it's a little worse for wear. So as a bed, I don't think anyone would want it, but as a bench, I think um, it's perfect. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I mess it up. Hopefully not. We got to think positive here. So. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, so this is the headboard. And here, here is the footboard. So the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out where I need to cut this um, because I'm gonna cut the footboard in two different places and swing it around so it's the sides of the bench. Um, so let's do that first. Okay, so I do like the way this looks, but I'll show you my concern. See this? See where these pieces are going to meet? This is round. This is curved. I am wondering if I'm going to be able to cope that in um, to where it looks like a nice clean fit. I don't know. That's kind of scary. We'll see. Right. Yeah, here goes here goes nothing. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to, can you see me? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, re, I'm gonna have to adjust my guard that I made because I forgot that the circular saw has like an inch on the side before the blade is there. Um, so if I cut it right now, I'd be cutting an inch off, an inch more, yeah, than I want. Um, so I'm gonna readjust and try this again. All right, part two. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. holding it too high because um yeah <laughs> so the first one I thought I couldn't do it but I could that's all right just live and learn okay now I got two pieces let's step one okay so I haven't attached anything it's just teetering dry fit in the moment but and here I'm just trying to figure out how to make sure it's nice and level. Um, I don't know. This is tricky. It's like a puzzle. Okay, so here's where I am. I actually clamped the headboard to these poles just to get it to stand at a 90 degree angle because all these pieces are heavy and I'm working by myself um, it I kept trying to line everything up and um, screw the um, I made pocket holes I was trying to screw the screws in and just like uh, running out of arms so or hands whatever I definitely um, was having a hard time doing this by myself so this um, these poles that hold up my stairs are being my friends right now um, so it's gone in they I feel like I need to still um, brace them a little bit more I'm gonna keep going and just see, um, but at least I've got the sides on. I think reinforcing will be easier now that I have, now that it can stand upright. Well, almost, I have two more screws to put in. And then it can stand up on its own. So here, I'll stand way back so you can see. So that's where we are. And I decided to not clean it before I built. Um, I, for one thing, I didn't even know if it would work because it's the first time I've ever done this. And also, um, I didn't know what parts I would actually end up using. So I feel okay about cleaning it and doing all that kind of stuff at the end of the build. Okay, so everything's screwed in. Now I'm gonna measure from here, this front pole to here this front pole 
and I'm going to cut the remaining bed rail to be like the front apron and I'm going to put the top of it at 18 inches because most benches sit at around 18 inches high so let's see how this goes Okay, so here is where we're standing. Um, reinforced the corners and added these braces. We are definitely making progress. It's a legitimate bench now, and I'm excited about the way it's coming, so. Okay, so I went to the store and got three one by eight. So now I'm going to try to cut those to size to be the seat of my bench. Okay, so I measured the back. The back was 53 and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this first board and I will have to notch out for these little corners. But I'm going to cut the whole length and then I'll do the detail work.
Okay, second coat of poly is on and drying. That's why it still looks a little milky, not completely dried. Um, but yeah, we're making it. Also got this cushion that turned out pretty good. So I'm on the home stretch.